frequentists think that probability has to do with observed frequencies of things in a sample. Right? So I say, what's the probability that the, the next ball that I will draw from uh, uh, the uh, lottery, um, you know, that thing that bounces all the balls around in, in the lottery draw, is going to be even? Right? Now, you might say, a priori, it's one in two, but then you don't know whether the balls are, in fact, a fair sample of one to a hundred or whatever. You don't know that. So a frequentist says, count them, and then you'll know. Uh, a Bayesian works on the idea that you have some prior commitments about the way the world is. In this case, for example, you might say, uh, well, it's very unlikely that the government would permit a biased sample of balls in the lottery. So therefore, it's got to be all the numbers from 1 to 100, and therefore, it's going to be a 50% um, chance. And that's using your prior assumptions to estimate the probability of this particular case. That's what Bayesianism is about, as I understand it. Now, um, the thing is that that works well in the case of the lottery. It's a lot harder when you're dealing with the probability that there will be a certain disease in a population, for example. Um, and your prior assumptions set the likelihoods that you're going to find something and then you find something and you say right this is uh, unlikely therefore it's a very good result that we found it or it's very likely that it would happen by chance so therefore it doesn't mean very much and it gets very very messy but most uh, people working in that field as I understand it think that if we aren't actually Bayesians in practice we're pretty close to it and Bayesian uh, probability is something that um, is a good enough way to model the way that scientists infer things in complex cases. Um, I don't really have a view on the matter. I don't really think it's resolved. I think if we are Bayesians, we're unconscious Bayesians, and I'm not sure that Bayes, uh, Bayesian probability is all that accurate at uh, describing what we do because we're not perfectly rational. We don't um, make our inferences uh, using only the information that we've got. There's also all kinds of cognitive biases that humans are likely to encounter. For example, we find agency where there is none, right? We talk about uh, uh, deities and, and intentions of of uh, other living organisms where there may be none and so on. Uh, so human beings have got a number of biases, uh, particularly with probabilistic reasoning. We're not good at reasoning in a probabilistic fashion, which is why statistics was invented to try and overcome that. And um, there's a big field uh, on the philosophy of statistics and the philosophy of probability. Well, it sort of depends on whether you think Bayesian probability is a description of what we do or a prescription for what we should do. Uh, if you think it's a description of what we do, then I don't think it's all that great. If you think it's a prescription of what we should do, then it may actually be very useful indeed, because it then becomes a methodology for eliminating some of the biases and for pointing out where uh, our priors might be wrong uh, and that we can go and repair that, as it were. The other thing is that um, with new observations, you tend to refine your priors over time. So uh, a Bayesian knower uh, is able to um, improve and refine their, their accuracy over time. So uh, if the, a scientific researcher uses a Bayesian uh, methodology or a Bayesian approach to uh, uh, analyzing their data and the probabilities that they're, they're encountering, it may actually eliminate quite a lot of error. Uh, that, I think, is an interesting and open question at the moment.